For this video, we're going to be looking at the Taylor Tilt Test, a special test for the uh, ligaments of the foot and ankle, specifically the calcaneofibular and the tibiocalcaneal ligaments. The patient's going to assume either a prone position or, if it's more comfortable, a sideline position that may allow uh, them to not place as much pressure through their uh, trunk, uh, specifically their stomach. Uh, and then from here, uh, the, the knee does need to be at about 90 degrees of flexion. You as the examiner or the clinician that's making the assessment is going to come in. You're going to grasp the foot. If they're in a prone position, I find that it's helpful to kneel on the table and kind of stabilize the tibia. At this point, uh, taking the foot and kind of placing it in an anatomical neutral position as best as possible is helpful because your assessment is going to be on the posterior or hind foot at this point. So uh, slight mid-range, uh, remember uh, end range dorsiflexion or plantar flexion, not a great position to be uh, performing these assessments of mobility. Instead, mid-range is where we prefer to place the foot and ankle. At this point, we're going to stabilize here, and we're going to focus on the calcaneus in terms of applying our force. If we want to assess the calcaneofibular ligament, the nice thing is these ligaments really name for where they attach. So the calcaneofibular ligament is going to be running right here. It runs from the lateral malleolus, the distal fibula, to the calcaneus. And so in order to test that, what we need to do is we need to adduct or invert the calcaneus into more of a hind foot varus position. And so what that would look like is this. Individuals in an uh, open pack position, we grasp the calcaneus, and we're going to take them into that position. Now, if we want, we can also bring our thumb or our fingers around to the side and actually palpate and assess that ligament to see if it goes on a taut, uh, kind of stretched position as we move into that adducted or inverted position of the calcaneus, as well as to palpate for any pain or reproduction of the comparable sign. Conversely, we can look at the deltoid ligament, the broad fan-based ligament that exists on the more medial aspect of the foot and ankle. The deltoid ligament is running then from the calcaneus up to the medial uh, malleolus, and it's examined by abducting and everting the calcaneus into more of a hind foot valgus position. In essence, the exact opposite of what we just assessed when looking at the calcaneal fibular ligament or CFL. We're still going to stabilize. The beauty of this is now we have our, our index and middle finger that can actually go right over top of the deltoid ligament on the medial side. So we stabilize here, we grasp the calcaneus, and we move into that abducted or everted position. And right underneath my index and middle finger, I can feel that ligament check the motion. And so that lets me know that there is no uh, more or less destruction or involvement of that ligament, but I also want to query whether or not there's any pain provocation from my patient or client. So have a go of the Taylor tilt test, both medial and lateral for the calcaneofibular and deltoid ligament with a peer or colleague, and let me know if there's any questions.